Hello everyone, now I'm discussing in this series the very important answers to structured questions. These questions are pretty much standard and they will be asked in most of the NHS interview. The wording would be different but actually they mean the same. So let's get started. Uh, I am Dr. Asma, I am a specialty registrar in London and this video particularly is about the first question which is to introduce yourself, take us through your CV or how does your clinical experience relates to the job that you have applied for. So basically the, the consultants or the interviewee, interview panel, they want to know where you're coming from, what is your setup, what is your clinical experience, how much confident you are, how responsible you are and how honest you are. So in, in, in this um, question, take it as a golden opportunity not to waste time and make their life easy and give them the answer that they want to see which actually relates yourself to the present role and help them understand how you know you are adaptable to fill in the gap and how much your experience relates to the job you have applied for. So um, a sample answer for an SHO would be I have qualified two years ago and have finished structured foundation program which included rotation to these many surgical and medical specialties. I have a valid basic life support or if you have an advanced life support more than welcome you can add on and i know basics of resuscitation if you have finished any diploma or any further exam you are more than welcome to fit in that uh, detail in here uh, so, and make sure that that uh, qualification relates to the country you're applying for so i have finished my mrcp part one or i have done some diploma Presently, I'm working in a DGH, an internal medical department, and share rota with these many other SHOs. My main work responsibilities include assessment of stable patient for out of hours or elective admissions. I clock them, I flag them to the seniors, and um, I keep the record on my list. I prescribe the medication, I participate in morning and evening ha handovers and daily ward rounds, I do the discharge letters and other tasks involved in the patient care. Now this basically tells them what is your everyday work like and how do basically you treat your patient. Internationally it's a very standard process, whenever a patient comes you, uh, you assess them, you flag them up, you do some basic investigation, you add them to the list, you make their drug chart, you, uh, you know, order their investigations, you tell to your senior, you in inform about their admission to XYZ ward. Uh, if they're already admitted, you do the ward round, you assist your consultant and your registrars, and then you write the, uh, the progress notes and you take the necessary actions uh, after evening and uh, uh, mor uh, morning and evening handovers, you know what patients are, are on your list and what actions need to be done. So th this is quite universal, but if you phrase it like that, it is more NHS temperament-like. Now, uh, now you go to how much confident you are in doing the procedures. So I would, in my, in my introduction, I would definitely add on what, um, you know, um, what procedures I can do independently or I need more experience. So I would say that I am competent in basic procedures like adult IV cannula, urinary catheterization, blood sampling, interpreting blood gases, and I can also interpret basic investigations like full blood counts, urea and electrolytes, chest x-rays and etc. Uh, if you are specifically applying to surgical specialties, you can always add your theater experience that you have been scrubbed in XXY surgeries. So I have assisted in a few surgeries and then you can just as, as to end your question, you can say that I have been involved in some basic quality improvement projects. You can always expand these questions later. So in a snapshot, it gives a very crisp and very succinct uh, image of what your in you know your qualification is like what your experience is like what you're confident and comfortable in doing and where you're coming from and how would you adjust in the NHS system so this is the template answer for a tier one doctor let's move to uh, the same answer for a registrar level uh, doctor 
So I would say that I have finished my house job five to seven years ago. And since then I have been mainly working in XYZ department. If I am uh, internal medical, I'm applying to that job. I will say internal medicine. I'll write gynae ops, surgery, pediatrics, ophthalmology, etc. cetera. Uh, then add on to your post graduation because that's really important. And they want to know in your home country and in uh, comparison, the Royal College exams where you are in your um, post graduation. So you can say that you have either finished or you're waiting for your exam results or you're just done, uh, your, uh, you have remaining your OSCEs for MRCP, MRCPCH, MRCOG, and then add on if you have any advanced life support. And also it's worth mentioning where do you stand in GMC registration, in the, it's pending, it's in process, or you're waiting for your language exam because it just helps them to understand you know, what the timeline would be like. Now, the most important bit that presently I'm working as a specialty registrar in a DGH or a tertiary care hospital, which includes level three neonatal unit or very special coronary unit or any, you know, special surgeries which you are famous for. And you see the patient across the region with these common conditions. So most common conditions that you can always relate to are acute abdomen, acute asthma, DKA, or if you're more into your specialties, you can talk about oncology, dermatology, ophthalmology. And then you talk about what does your role involve. So my main responsibilities are to see new new patients and decide if they need admissions, uh, provide medical care to acute presentations in ANE and labor ward or main you know, surgical unit. And I'm capable of handling a sick patient and get timely help and manage them appropriately and safely. Uh, so this basically, it, it will differ on each and every candidate and, and your experience and what job you're applying for, but make sure that you tell them that you can see the unstable patient, you can stabilize them and you can ask for help and escalate care. That is the most important bit to answer. Uh, then you say what procedures you're comfortable in doing, you're competent in doing. So I'm competent in doing like lumbar punctures, intubation, CPR, advanced life support, independently, and I need to troubleshoot. You need to know if something goes wrong in that procedure, what to expect and whom to call. So uh, basically, again, it summarizes yourself in a very crisp way, in a very timely, and um, the, the things that basically they can remember, and then they can, when they're questioning you further, they will know that, okay, you have already described, so expand on this, expand on that. Again, it's all about relating yourself, your current position to the future position, and making the life, your life easy and the interview panel to um, to relate to what they are asking for. So I hope it's really useful and stay in touch. I will uh, further elaborate on the further questions coming very soon. Thank you very much.